In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to turn an image into a 3D printable model. I repeat, this is going to be a step-by-step -step guide on how to turn an image into an actual 3D printable model. I will state there's two different ways to do this. So if you're looking to turn your image into a 3D printed piece of artwork, that's entirely different. What we're doing here today is turning an image into an actual 3D model. I do have a tutorial on how to do the 3D printed artwork. I'll put it in the description down below. Step number one, what we we need to do is get the image that you're going to be turning into a 3d printed file into canva or onto your computer right i have the image right here all you have to do is get into canva i feel like everyone knows what canva is upload the image and this image is actually of our best friend's dog this is a french bulldog named leo so everyone say hello so what we first want to do here is we want to do a couple of things we want to first remove the background because this is going to give the tool that we're going to be using that turns this image into a 3d model just a better idea of what it what, it, what it's looking at right so increase it to the best of your ability and then what you want to do is you want to download this file as a jpeg or a png and do it as large as you can like this is 900 by 900 because the AI tool that's going to be reading this it really helps to have a larger file so that it can read it and if you have multiple images that also helps us step number two what you need to do is go to meshy AI I'll throw my affiliate link in the description this tool has been absolutely blowing my mind it is a paid tool but guys, I promise you, once you use it, it's going to blow your mind and be your new favorite thing to create 3D models. What's really cool is if you use my affiliate link in the description, you'll get a free trial to do a couple of models for free. So all you do here is there's a couple different features. There's text to images, which you can do with ChatGPT. There's text to 3D, or there's image to 3D, or 3D to video. So this tool does a lot of different things. What we need to click on is image to 3D. So we're going to click on that here. And then next, what we want to do here is, uh, you know, there's a ton of different settings that you can change, probably a million, and it's extremely overwhelming. What I advise you to do is not do anything except upload your image right here, because just let this tool kind of do its thing. I've kind of just learned to just not touch the settings. You can name it and then just click generate. And it literally creates a 3D model in like a minute or two, and it's absolutely mind-blowing. So here's the model that it created. Absolutely stunning, right? Like, it's ridiculous. It even has a little tail. We might have to fix the tail because he doesn't actually have that tail. I have some kind of funny details in there. What's crazy, guys, is you can turn text prompts into 3D models as well. Like, for here, I told it to make a small Barbie tub for my daughter. Look at this, it just made it out of thin air. It's absolutely crazy. And these models are yours, free to use. I told it to make me a 90 degree PVC elbow and it did just that. Look at this. My daughter wanted to 3D print some fake dog poop and it gave me four different options. We 3D printed that and it worked great. She also wanted me to 3D print a Barbie dinner table. Here it is, made it out of thin air. Next, what we want to do is we want to save this file. The tool will add color to the file for multicolor 3D printing, but I've had a really hard time getting the slicers to recognize the color. So what I do is I just add the colors in there. So just click the download button down here, choose which format you want it to be in. I just choose an STL or .3MF, then click download. Then open your slicer of choice. I'm going to do it in Bamboo Studio. Open a new project, bring your file in resize it if necessary. One thing I will state is that the AI tool doesn't necessarily think about where you're going to need support. So that's going to be the biggest setback. You know what I mean? So click on the support tab and make sure you enable your support to make sure you're going to figure out where you're going to need it. So this model isn't too bad. We just have some minor supports and let's send it to the 3D printer. So while that 3D prints, I wanna show you guys how to add color to the 3D model itself. So what you have to do is go back over to Meshi AI in the dashboard in the model you're working on and then click on texture. And then what you need to do is you need to click on the texture feature right here. And what it'll do is it'll create a new model based upon the color that is based on the image, right? So if you don't have the right colors in the image, you need to have that correct because that's what it's going to colorize it at. All right, so here is the texture that it came up with. And it's actually really good, right? Like, that's ridiculous. I will say that doing multicolor is going to be totally different. It's one thing to add color to this, but you have to remember... For 3D printing multicolor, you only get like four colors with an AMS unit. And then when you download the file, what you need to do is click on download and you're gonna have to do a format, probably OBJ, 
that cr that saves all the files and the colors and such. I've been having a lot of issues with this with all the slicers. Sometimes what you can also do is put it into Blender and kind of colorize it. Or what you can do is actually go in here to the like your slicer, and then you can go into the color feature where you can change the color of the filament right here where it says color painting. And then you can add new filaments. Like say if I were to add the color black right here, what I could do is I could zoom in here Actually, I'm going to undo that, zoom in, and then what you could do is just start coloring each individual piece of the filament. We're actually going to paint this because my girlfriend's really good at painting, and I actually have tutorials on how to paint 3D prints. There's also different features at which you could do, like the fill region, um, but if your 3D print is like rounded and such, it just doesn't do as well. So if I click out and click off of this, go back into here and get like a different view, like this is a gold chain, right? So if I click the color feature here and I do fill and I add yellow, let's add yellow here or gold per se, and then click that. If you, you know, it's kind of hard to do because if you have a lot of rounded edges, it actually just like doesn't work the greatest. See how that's not working? There's other features where you can do the circle tool, but it changes the whole thing that color. Adding multicolor filaments to your files or your models, uh, it, it, it's it's kind of difficult to be honest with you, but if you get into Blender and you want to spend a lot of time doing it, it's not that hard. We love painting over here at my house, so plus you waste less filament. Multicolor printing is so wasteful. I don't know, hit me up in the comments on how you feel about this. Let's go back to the 3D print. So the model appears to be 3D printing really well. Like I was telling you guys, sometimes you got to worry about the supports because this model or this AI tool will make models really well, but it doesn't think about where the supports go. Sometimes I have models where there's so many supports that it like destroys the model itself. So the file turned out really good. So some setbacks, we have some layer lines up here, but we can fill that with wood filler since we're gonna be painting it. Some of the underneath stuff where the supports were, um, are a little weird some of his feet you know again you can mess with slicer settings I maybe could have like brought it uh, put him on a platform in the slicer or maybe like flatten this out a little bit on the bottom for his feet but for me to just upload an image and to have the tool turn it into a 3d file model and I can print this like this is crazy guys you know I can sell this file I can give it out for free. I could add a key ring right here and this could be a keychain. I could make a listing on Etsy. I will custom 3D print and paint your pet. Hopefully this helped you on figuring out how to turn an image into a 3D printable model. Hit me up in the comments if you guys have any other questions and check out the channel. I have tons of other cool tutorials on how to do amazing stuff with 3D printing. Until then, I'll see you guys in the next one. No, it's kind of the side we saw. Nah, boys.